Western Kentucky. Chad Ochocinco, the Oregon State. Vernius Coles, Jacksonville, Florida. Daniel Coates, Brigham Young University. Andrew Whitworth, LSU. Nate Livings, LSU. Kyle Cook, Michigan State. Bobby Williams, Arkansas Razorbacks. Dennis Rowland, Georgia. An offensive line that came around. Marvin Lewis saying that was his number one priority as training camp began. Third down and nine. Palmer steps up to avoid the heat and then throws into the wind for Ocho Cinco and it is incomplete. He's covered by Darrell Revis and the two have been texting back and forth and creating a lot of good natured ribbing back and forth and Revis is about as good as it gets when it comes to being a cover corner in the men. He's had some big days but he has been number three. Second and one. And for Ocho Cinco and he gets blanketed by Revis and you watch Revis play and you see that this guy allows almost no separation Well, and what makes him a defensive MVP Candidate in my mind is the fact that he has been doing this all season long He has taken the premier wide receivers in the NFL and done this to all of them There has not been a big day against him all season long They talk about no shutdown corners anymore. There's at least one one of the subplots coming into the game, Chad Ochocinco, Darrell Revis, the matchup, wide out and cover corner. And Ochocinco told Bob Costas yesterday as you look at what took place before the game, mutual respect with these guys, a lot of kidding around. He said to Bob yesterday, if, if Revis shuts me down, I'm changing my name back to Johnson. <laughs> we better get the paperwork ready. <laughs> Third and 13. One on one, he's got him. He wants him. And he's pressing him too. And Palmer's going to throw in that direction. And the pass is incomplete. And Ocho Cinco gets whacked by Terry Rhodes. So he gets inside of Revis. And then with safety help, Rhodes comes in to give him a shot. It's fourth down. Good disguise that time by the Jets. This looks like it's going to be man coverage on the outside. But instead, they roll the safety over the top, and Carson Palmer tries to fit one in there. We've seen him over the last two or three ball games get in trouble and make bad decisions, trying to force balls into Chad Ochocinco. He got away with that one, but barely. The rookie Uber to kick, and the wind knocks that one down, and it's a duck that goes out of bounds short of midfield. And that will give the Jets the ball in Cincinnati territory. A texting war. I'm coming to the Big Apple. Give them what they've never seen. An escape inmate gone wild on Revis Island. And then Revis <laughs> writes back. Good morning, world. I just woke up from the crazy dream. He came to Revis Island and disappeared. Ocho Cinco responds to that. Laughing out loud, says Revis. We only have room service. Everyone tuned into the 2485 yard line. Palmer throws, and that's incomplete. Intended for Ocho Cinco, man it himself. We haven't had a chance to meet the Jet defense. Here they are. Sean Ellis, Tennessee. Sean Boha, University of Utah. Marcus Douglas, Howard University. Brian Thomas, UAB. Bart Scott, Southeastern Jungleers. Dave Harris, Ottawa Hills. Calvin Pace, Wake Forest. Darrell Revis, Pitt. Jim Leonard, Wisconsin. Kerry Rhodes. Louisville, Lito Shepard, University of Florida. Coming again, Palmer stepping up, walk to his left, pass incomplete. Flag thrown, all the way up at the 27-yard line. Yeah, that was pretty clear. Darrell Revis with some illegal contact. Illegal contact, number 24, defense, five-yard penalty, first down. Five yards, the limit for contact for defensive backs. Revis on the outside. They kind of get tripped up and you know, maintain that contact. I know there's a, probably a lot of high school football players out there going, what the heck, you can't even do that. But it's the way it is. They like to see completed passes in this league. At Giants Stadium. A 37 to nothing thrashing.
So the Jets and the Baltimore Ravens were the two teams going into